Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a delicious fruit salad that was inspired off of a recipe from Pinterest. And this one is big enough for a huge gathering. I actually am making this uh, for someone and it is for a baby shower. So you could use this with a barbecue, a wedding, um, birthday baby showers or anything. And I just wanted to share it with you. So thank you so much for watching and let's get going on the video. We're going to start. I'm going to show you some of the fruits that I used. I used a fresh pineapple. And then of course I had to have strawberries. They only had one request, no cantaloupe. So you could definitely add cantaloupe to this recipe as well. But I have strawberries. I have blueberries. I found one thing of blueberries. Well, actually I had bought these at Trader Joe's, um, but I couldn't find blueberries anywhere. So uh, I had to resort to partial frozen blueberries, which thank goodness I had those in my freezer. Then I also found raspberries. I just kind of went with a different assortment of whatever the best fruits were that I could find. And then I, I got blackberries. Not everybody's a huge blackberry fan, but it added some color uh, to the fruit salad. So those are just a few of the fresh fruits I have. I also have those two cans of mandarin oranges that you see. And then I have uh, fresh grapes. I'm thinking those are grapes or those cherries. I can't tell. Oh, are these the grapes? Okay, here's the grapes. <laughs> I can't tell as I'm doing my voiceover. So I have fresh cherries, fresh grapes. And then I didn't want to cut up mango, so I had some frozen mango chunks, but I only had a little bit in there. So I had this big bag of frozen fruit from Costco, and I'm just taking the mango out of it. Now, if you wanted to make a fruit salad just out of that frozen fruit that I just showed you from Costco, it has peaches, it has pineapple, it has strawberries, it has mango, and so much more. So this beautiful bowl that I'm putting it in is from the Dollar Tree and it was in my pantry. I just needed something that I could give away. So that was perfect. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this pineapple. Now I always say haste makes waste and I love the top of a pineapple. Who hates throwing it away once you cut it? So I cut this off and I think to myself, I'm going to keep this and reuse this little thing here. So we're just going to put that to the side. It's too pretty to throw away. And then I cut the other end of the pineapple and you're going to see, um, I learned this technique. I keep that for me because then I can just like eat the pineapple out of it. Um, I learned this technique on Instagram, I believe it was on a reel and I saw someone making like pineapple, um, pops type things. Um, so I got the idea to cut the pineapple like she did and it was pretty handy, but there was to me a lot of pineapple that I wasted, but it did make it pretty handy to, um, cut those ends off. So I cut it diagonally one way and then you'll see that I flip it around and cut it diagonally the other way to create like a checkered or checkered type pattern, if that makes sense. So that is what you see me doing here. Now, as I was saying earlier, if you do not want to cut up all this fresh fruit, you could get that frozen fruit from Costco. That's the variety pack. And you could make a fruit salad by thawing that out. Um, I just wanted to do something fresh fruit wise. I like the the crispness of fresh fruit and the flavor of fresh fruit. So I um, was making this, like I said, for somebody, they asked me if I could do it. And so I wanted to make a pretty presentation and I wanted everything to be fresh and yummy. So you see me still cutting this pineapple. Um, I also would like to say, if you are returning, I tried to say that in the beginning, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I'd love it if you hit the thumbs up and if you left comments below, that would be fantastic. So on with the fruit salad. So what I'm doing basically is cutting um, the it, the outside of the pineapple off, cutting things into chunks, and then I'm throwing everything in the bowl. And I will show you how I arrange the fruit uh, just so that I can just kind of see how much I have of each fruit in the bowl before I mix it all up. If I just kind of throw it in there, I can't really see the amount. So I just found it easier to do it this way. So I just continue cutting and getting that entire pineapple into the bowl.
And here's what I was talking about. I put all the pineapple in. This is one whole pineapple and I put it in a pie shape in the bowl. And then I'm moving on to the strawberries and I have two clamshell containers of strawberries. I rinse them in a small strainer with some lukewarm water just to make sure all the dirt and everything is off. And then I'm going to start slicing them. First, I cut the green parts off and then I just kind of dice them up. You'll see how I do it in here. Now you can do it any way you like. You can do slices, you can do chunks, you can do halves you can do quarters <laughs> you can do whatever you want this is just what I did and I was making a fruit salad to feed around 40 people so you can kind of get a hint of how big this fruit salad truly was um, so I just continue with the strawberries until I get them uh, to where I think I have enough of them in there I way overbought my strawberries I have five clamshells that I bought of them and I only end up using two so or I think I used roughly two and a half. I don't show you all of the ones I cut, but um, I think I roughly used two and a half clamshells of the strawberries, but we're just gonna continue cutting these and placing them in the bowl. Again, you can kind of see how I place these strawberries in a pie shape next to the pineapple, and that just tells me if I want to keep going or not. I did not have enough, so I just continued to cut until I reach the amount, like I said earlier, that I desire to have in this salad. So I have the amount of strawberries that I want. That is extra strawberries that I have to decide. And I do want to let you know that I did end up cutting up most of those after I tossed the salad and put some more strawberries in the mix. So um, I do do that with those leftover strawberries. I just don't show it in the video. Now I'm showing you my frozen mango that I had. That's all I had left in the bag. And that's when I have to go through the big Costco bag. That was not easy because it was so cold and I was trying to find the mango in there and I kept pulling up peaches, but um, the mango is in there and I it's. I don't think that I need a ton of mango because not everybody loves mango or the texture of it. But like I said, you can add as much or as little as you want. I do cut some of these up, but I pretty much keep them in whole chunks, place them in the bowl next to the strawberries so I can kind of see how many I have and how many more I need to take out. Now I'm moving on to the grapes. I just went ahead and put those in the strainer uh, with the strawberries and rinse them off. Uh, I always do that because if not, grapes tend to feel like like they have a coating on them. So um, I do rinse them off completely. And all I'm doing with these is taking them straight off of the stem and putting them to the side. And then I cut them in half and put them in the bowl. Okay, I lied. I don't cut them in half and put them in the bowl. These are small, so I just go ahead and put them in the bowl. <laughs> I didn't know what I did, uh, but yes, that's what I do. I keep them whole, place them towards the side so I see how many I need. I take the crunchiest ones out of the grapes because to me, the grapes with the biggest crunch are always the best ones. And so that's what I continue to do here. How beautiful and colorful is this guys I just love the look of this with the fruit separated I was gonna suggest having a little side bowl a garbage bowl I guess you could call it to put all your trash in all the pieces you're cutting off just so you don't have to make so many trips you just kind of toss it in a bowl that's what I did um, now I have these cherries and yes I placed them in a different strainer but then placed it on top of the strawberries as well and I hope I said cherries, right? Did I say cherries? I think I did. So what I'm doing is I'm pitting these cherries. Now I do not have a cherry pitter, so I had to do every one of these by hand. All I'm doing is taking the stem off, cutting the cherry in half, and then kind of twisting it, taking the seed of the cherry out and then putting it in the bowl. So it does take me quite a while. Um, 
but you can choose to leave cherries out or I would highly suggest Costco has a bag of frozen cherries in their freezer section and they are super, super yummy and you could just defrost those and put them in. It'd probably be a lot cheaper than buying fresh cherries, but I did not make a trip to Costco. So I just went ahead and picked up the fresh cherries and put them into the fruit salad. I didn't want a ton and I didn't want maraschino cherries because again, I wanted it to be fresh and beautiful and natural looking. So that's why I went with this route but you can totally use frozen cherries that you can find at Costco or probably one of your local grocery stores. Now moving on to the next fruit, and I believe I grabbed the raspberries here. Yes, I do. Now these I had pre-rinsed the day before because I made a cake for somebody and I used raspberries in the filling and as for decoration. So all of these raspberries had already been washed and had sat in my refrigerator overnight, so I did not need to rinse them this time around, but I just go ahead and throw those in a bowl. I leave them the way they are and stack them pie-shaped as well. Um, until I have the desired amount. Now I did end up using two full clamshells of raspberries for this. I don't know if I would add raspberries next time only because they kind of mush up and they, they might be become more of part of the dressing than the fruit itself. So I would probably leave those out the next time, but I threw them in there along with these blackberries. These were some really pretty blackberries that I found at Winco, which is one of our local grocery stores. And again, I had pre-washed these for the cake the day before. So I'm just putting those in the bowl. Here are my, oh no, that's still blackberries. I was gonna say, here are my blueberries, but no, that was still blackberries. One fruit that I forgot to mention was apples, and these are um, Envy apples, E-N-V-Y. I had these on hand, and I like them for the crunch in the salad. Uh, so I go ahead and I cut these and dice them up and put them into the bowl. I do not take the skin off. You can do that if you like. You can also use whatever kind of apples you like. Everybody has a different one. And so this is just what I chose to go with. So all I'm doing is cutting them into slices and then cutting them into chunks and putting them in the bowl. Now you may ask, are they gonna get brown? Well, because I'm making a honey lime dressing for it, um, the citrus from the lime should prevent the apples from turning brown. So I didn't worry too much about that if you're gonna put if you're not gonna put a dressing on it, at least squeeze your apples with some lemon juice or lime juice uh, to prevent that from happening. Now we're going to go ahead and take that one package of blueberries I have. These also have been pre-washed and I'm placing them in the bowl and just kind of scattering them and it just shows you that beautiful blue color. I do uh, happen to have a bag of frozen blueberries. There they are from Costco in my freezer and these are really nice ones. I do add those because I felt like I needed a little bit more blueberry in there for color and so you can add as little or as many as you want. You can use all fresh. You can use all frozen the decision is yours just giving you an idea and showing you how to um, fill in when maybe you don't have enough of something so I was lucky and had these in my freezer so I just placed those inside and now we can see all the fruit and we are getting ready to make that honey lime dressing
I don't know about you, but I love all the colors. They're so vibrant in this fruit salad. I don't know, it just makes me happy to look at it. So I'm just showing you what it looks like before we mix it up and before we add the dressing and those mandarin oranges. I have two cans of mandarin oranges. You wanna open those, drain them, and set them to the side for the end. Um, you can use fresh oranges in place of that if you like. I also have two limes that I'm going to zest with my new lime zester. I got this at Target. It's a hearth and hand magnolia, and I was so excited to find it, but I will tell you this much. Boy, was it hard. It was so sharp, and I didn't realize how sharp until the next day. And then I realize that I'm not even recording myself because I had pushed under the camera so far that you couldn't see what I was doing. So we have to have a take two. And this is where I realized I wasn't recording myself. So I move everything over and I continue to zest my lime. Like I said, the zester is really sharp. I couldn't tell what angle I was supposed to use it. I was getting frustrated with it. So you will see that I resort back to my good old zester that my mom got me years ago. Um, but I love this one. I just don't know if it's too sharp or what I'm doing wrong, but um, go ahead and gather that. There's that little side bowl and we are gonna go ahead and zest that other lime. Whew, thank God that's done. I think I broke a sweat doing that. So now we wanna take our limes, cut them in half, and I have like this citrus press. You can get those from Pampered Chef, and I got this at Walmart. It's a Pioneer Woman one. And we are going to take those limes, put them in, and squeeze the juice into the bowl with the zest. As you've guessed, we are making the dressing for our yummy fruit salad. Press all the juice out of it and continue. Don't throw these peelings away though, or the rinds away. Throw them in your, your garbage disposal and grind them up. It makes it makes for a really fresh smell over the sink. Um, anyway, I continue to do this. Now, if you want it to be a little bit zestier, a little bit more, you can add more lime to it. If you want it to be less, you can add less, but I added quite a bit of lime zest. I think I just messed up when I said that. Lime juice, not zest. Okay, so I have quite a bit of lime zest. Let's start this over again. And I am squeezing the lime juice of one and a half limes. If you want less, feel free to add less, add more, whatever your taste buds may enjoy. Then I have this raw honey that I got at Costco. Now I'm not a measurer, you guys, but squeezing it in, I'd say it was anywhere between a third cup and a half cup. Um, I did add a little bit more later and just go by what taste you're looking for. So I'm just whisking that all together and making sure I do do a little taste test to make sure I have enough honey in it. You're gonna wanna whisk that one last time and we are going to pour this over all of this beautiful fruit. And I just kind of go around each little section. And as you can see, I have not yet mixed the fruit, but I'm pouring the dressing on first and then I just take a wooden spoon and mix it all together. And yes, get all that extra honey that's at the bottom there. I'm telling you, this was a nice, light, refreshing salad and the dressing just gave it that extra mm, goodness. 
So it's time to mix this up. Now you could put on rubber gloves and mix it with your hands that would work because then you could do it really super gently um, i'm just using a wooden spoon type thing and i'm just kind of folding it as you can see i don't want to be too rough with it because i don't want to break all the fruit up the one the fruit that i really worry about is the raspberries and like i said i think they kind of just get mushed in there but um, i have not put the oranges on yet but i slowly mix this so that i know that all the fruit gets coated with this dressing So here I'm adding the two cans of oranges. Like I said, you can replace these with fresh oranges if you like. You can add more, you can add less. Um, you're gonna wanna take your spoon or your hands and ever so gently fold these in to mix it into the salad and get some of that dressing on it. Um, I do this gently because they do break apart pretty easy. Plus, like I said, we still have those raspberries in there. So I try to make all the colors stand out. So I just kind of move them around until I kind of get the desired look that I'm looking for. Now you ask, what is she doing with the top of that pineapple? If you hadn't guessed it, I'm sticking it in the middle of the fruit salad. Yes. Um, like I said, it's going to be for a baby shower. So like for a gathering and that just makes it look a little fancier and it just sets right in there. It's like perfect. And this fruit salad guys is done. This is gorgeous. It's got beautiful colors. It's eye-catching not only that it's delicious it's light and it's fresh for summer so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you get a chance to make your version of this fruit salad let me know what you think in the comment section down below as you can see i'm showing it off and showing all around but isn't it beautiful oh my gosh you guys i wish i could have taken a big spoonful of it um but i could not do that <laughs> like i said this was for somebody else but anyway thank you so much again for watching please hit that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell and i'd love for you to leave a comment down below um also if you're returning thank you so much for for supporting my channel it really really means a lot to me and if you are new if you like crafting on a budget shopping hauls recipes cake decorating how the cookie crumbles and a little bit of everything because like i've told you in the past i'm the jack of all trades master of none god bless everyone <music>